guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel this video is going to be your warning for june 2023 and this is going to be for all signs of the zodiac so as always take what resonates and leave what doesn't please and thank you if this doesn't resonate for you um you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box which is my website i have a bunch of different services on there and i have a service called um warning slash advice and if you'd like, you can opt out for double warning or double advice, but the reading does come with both. But like I said, you can opt out for double of whichever instead of both. So I already pulled the overall energy for your warning for June. I'm going to just hop right into this reading. The cards that came out is intentionally holding back, lack of effort, waiting for you to take action. Then we have low self-esteem slash insecure. And then we have sexually transmitted disease, diagnosis, symptoms, or fear of exposure. I don't like this. I don't like that. So what I'm getting as the overall energy of these three cards, you do have someone who is very much interested in you. This could be someone from your past, someone, um, you know, in your future even that you may meet in June. Or someone from your past coming back towards you in June. Um, or it could be somebody that you're currently dealing with if they are showing signs of you know holding back from you um you have someone that is intentionally holding back not only because they have low self-esteem but because they fear that they may have caught an std whether curable or incurable now i feel like their low self-esteem they're trying to how can you say it it's like they're trying to build it up by dealing with multiple people they're trying to build it up by flirting with multiple people, having different love options, having sex with multiple people. It's like they're using other people romantically and sexually to help build their self-esteem. Like, oh, you know, I'm dating a man with his master's and, you know, he's a doctor, you know, and he's Cleo. And he's dating me and he's having sex with me and I'm sleeping over his house. I must be something like I feel like. Your love interest, whether male or woman, is using other people to build their own self-esteem. Oh, I'm I'm dating a councilman member. I must be somebody for them to date me. Like, I just see your love interest, whether past, present, or future. I'm not too sure. I'll get some insight in a minute. But they're definitely using other people to build their self-esteem. Now you need to look at yourself. What do you have going on? Do you have a new car? Do you have a nice house or a nice apartment? Do you are you going to school? Do you have degrees on degrees? Do you have a good job? Like look into yourself and see, okay, are they using me or are they not using me? And when I say using me, I mean are they using you in a sense of to build their self-esteem? Or are they actually into you? So you got to look within yourself and see what you have and what you don't have and see, okay, would this person use me for that? You know? Hmm. But that STD, I don't like that. So first off, your warning. Use protection with everyone that you'll be dealing with in June. Use protection off rip. Okay, is this a past or current love interest? Please let me know. Or even future. Please let me know. One card at a time, please. Nope, one card at a time. Is this someone? Oh, this is someone from your past. This is someone from your past who is going to begin making their way towards you. And I see you're going to be indecisive on whether you should reject them or not. Because this is somebody that you really care about. This is somebody that you're really into. Um, this is somebody that you have a lot of love for. So I see you being very indecisive on whether you're going to take this person back or not. That's up to you. You have free will. But me personally, keep them at a distance. What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me about this person? What else can you tell me about this person? One card at a time, please. Too many cards. What else can you tell me about this person?
this is actually someone who you either did settle down with or you've seen yourself settling down with so this could be someone who you recently or not recently but in possibly in the far past you lived with maybe you had children with this person maybe you were engaged with this person it's something where things were serious between you two it could have been a committed relationship it could have been a long-term relationship once again you guys could have lived with one another but this is someone who you were serious about so i see why you're so conflicted on whether you should take this person back or not because this is somebody who you were with like you were with this person this is someone who you love deeply and they loved you as well honestly what i'm seeing here your warning this person is going to come back towards you but not to use you for their self-esteem or anything like that i feel like they used enough people to try and build their self up and that's why they were holding back from you. That's why they were being distant with you. Because they were using other people to build their self up. But now they're tired of that. Like I see, they want to settle down. Like at the bottom of the deck, we have pregnancy. Upcoming news, thoughts, or symptoms of pregnancy. Wanting to be a family. This person, they may come towards you in June wanting a family with you. Wanting to finally settle down with you. But my thing is, I just don't like this STD card because it's like you're burnt out now like what well, you've been having sex with so many people in in this town in this state or you know on vacation and this and that like what well, you've been dealing with so many people to where now you're like okay well now it's time for me to settle down like what now you want to settle down because you're burnt out like everybody used you up at this point temperance sagittarius energy So your warning, they were intentionally holding you, holding back from you. And it's because they had low self-esteem. So it's like they wandered off finding different people in different ways to build their self-esteem, to build their self back up, to feel worthy. And now they're going to come towards you. But with this STD card, I don't like this because are they coming towards you with the thought of, damn, I might have an STD? Or are they coming towards you with the fact that they do have an STD? What is my viewer's warning for June? For June 2023, what is my viewer's warning? It just keeps saying how this person is gonna come towards you. Too many cards, too many cards. The Emperor, Aries energy, Aries Taurus energy. The Moon, Pisces Cancer energy. Let me get one more card, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These cards are literally flying. your warning oh yeah this person is coming back they're coming back trying to get back together with you but the fact that this is your warning is letting me know they either don't have good intentions or things is gonna go left within this connection like yes they could possibly have the intentions of okay i'm ready to settle down but then if you sit there and accept them it's like things go left if they were a cheater, they may still be a cheater. If they were an abuser, they may still be an abuser. If they were a runner, they may still be a runner. So I see your warning. This person is still who they are. They just miss the love that you can give. It's like, yeah, it seems like they're ready to settle down now. But at what cost? It's like, did you really change? Because the fact that low self-esteem slash insecure is here lets me know they still have low self-esteem. They're still insecure. So what, they're going to come back around expecting you to build them up? I don't like this. What else is my viewers warning for June? One card at a time. What else is my viewers warning for June? Oh my goodness, the whole deck wants to keep coming out. Okay, I see. Yeah, so they're going to come back towards you like they want to settle down, right? Which they do want to settle down, but are they going to be loyal? No, no. So I see what this reading is trying to say. Now I see, now I can pinpoint it. Okay, your warning for June. A past love interest of yours who you were madly in love with and they were madly in love with you. Someone who you've seen yourself settling down with and may have took the steps to settle down with and things didn't work out. They're going to be coming back towards you in June. And 
they have low self-esteem. They for sure have low self-esteem. They still want whatever family or relationship dynamic that you guys had in the past. They still want that with you. And they're going to come towards you wanting that, right? But they're still the same. They still have low self-esteem. They're still insecure. So they're going to search for you to chase them, make them feel better about their self. They're going to cheat. They're going to deal with other people to help to use those people to help them make them feel better about themselves. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse. This love connection, if you decide to pursue them, if you decide to accept them back into your life, it's going to be very unrequited. You're going to be the one putting in majority of the effort, majority of, you know, the affection. You're going to be giving majority of the love. They're not really going to be giving much because they need you to feel good about themselves. So yes, they're going to come towards you as if they want to get back together. They do want to get back together, but it's for the wrong reasons. And not only that, your love interest, this is all pentacles, nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles, then six, six, then the six of pentacles in reverse. Your love interest, I don't know what you've been posting or what you've been buying or what people may have been saying about you, but your love interest is viewing you as someone who's very financially stable, someone who has the potential to be very wealthy. And they feel you are on the verge of being like 110% financially stable. Like they see you as someone who has a lot of money. And that's another reason why they're coming towards you. It is a possibility your love interest may try to use you for money. That six of pentacles is in reverse. With the eight of pentacles, they may try to use you for money. So just be very wary of this person coming back towards you. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to what they say, what they do. You know, if they come towards you with a damn sob story, oh, my car got stolen and my house got broken into and, you know, I can't pay my rent right now and I just lost my job or I just got laid off or I'm, I'm getting less hours. If they come towards you with a sob story, you know what their intentions is. If they come towards you chasing you and then the next minute they're damn near ghosting you, you know what their intentions is. Pay attention to what they're showing you. Don't pay attention to their words. Pay attention to what they're showing you, how they're acting, and how they're maneuvering with you. Are they really trying to get back together? Pay attention to that. Are they taking the steps to actually try and get back together and prove that they change or that they're better than who they were in the past? Pay attention to that. Mm. I don't like that. I don't like that. What's my viewer's advice? regarding this situation what is their advice regarding the situation of this past person coming back i feel like in the past you gave this person more than what you were getting from them yes but i also see you overly gave to this person like i'm getting the vibe that you literally set your whole life around this person Oh, I'm not going to go to that college because, you know, it's far from them. Or I'm not going to, you know, uh, get that apartment because it's far from them. Like, I see you low-key revolved your whole life around this person and your advice is to not do that. Don't do that. Don't revolve your whole life around this person. Don't sit there and start taking off work to spend time with them. Don't sit there and start, you know, quit your second job because you don't have enough time to spend with them. Don't sit there and, you know, move them into your, your apartment or your house. Don't sit there and revolve this person around your life. Don't do it. And your next advice is give up as soon as you see the red flags. They already showed you, you already seen who this person was in the past. And yes, granted, people can change. And that's why I'm saying you have free will to deal with this person or not, right? People can change. But once they show you or if, 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 if they show you that they haven't changed at all, or if they show you any red flags, do not be afraid to walk away. Do not be afraid to up and leave them. Do not be afraid to sit there and block them. Let them go the very same moment you see a red flag. And it may be hard because this is somebody who you've really seen a life with. And, you know, you may feel good that they're coming back towards you. You may feel good that they're trying to work on things with you. And, oh, you know, I, I do see that red flag, but let me, you know, just stick it out and see if they are going to change. No, once you see that red flag, you have to walk away. Point blank, period. 
But this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Please and thank you. Once again, you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. I have a bunch of different services on there, but if you would like a reading that's like something like this, it would be warning slash advice. And once again, you can opt out for a double warning or double advice if you don't want both. But have a great day, great night, whenever you see this, you guys.